That's alright. It's on me. Alive. Ending one of these. Hey. I can't believe I'm seeing this. But I miss you a lot. That the whole week without you, with me killing tons of people out of rage and overworking my men. The only thing that kept me going was the thought of meeting you. When the whole of this is over, and it's over now. Finally. Yeah, the past of you and this were rough. I was worried about you. I know you're okay. I'm grateful for that. But it was just hard for me. Not knowing if you're fine every second. It was almost intolerable. What did I miss about you? Everything. Every inch of you. Your eyes. Your scent. Your hair. The way you square when I look into your eyes. The way you get nervous. When I come closer to you, but also get excited about how good I'm going to make you feel. The way you are kissing me. It's another. Don't worry about it. Come here. Hey, I told you. It's nothing. Take off my shirt. You. Finally realize, you can't resist me, huh? Fine, I'll take it off. I told you, it's nothing. It doesn't even hurt anymore. Yes, that is a gunshot to me. It's a fine. I'm a fine. I'm here with you now. But I'm not. I'm alive. Nothing has happened to me. I'm a fine. Trust me. Well, I can be dead right now, too. Like there could be a sniper outside that window, just waiting to put a hole in my heart. You will never know. Oh, fine. I'll stop joking. I'll be careful next time. I promise. Alright, now, come here. Mm. I am 
are so glad I live to test his lips again. Yes, Bruno. I know we have to leave. We'll be downstairs in two minutes. You know, he would have deeply regretted if he knew he just interrupted family tradition. <laughs> Fine. I'll behave. We can continue this when we reach our home. Meet me downstairs. <sighs> Finally back home. I'm so glad you're here again. Yes, I do have something planned for today. You've been through a lot of this the past few days. So today is just going to be you and me. No business, no killing people, no Russian mafia shit, just us. Now that I think about it, I've never really given you an official tour of our mansion. Come, I'll show you around. This is the library. It's about the two floors. There's an entrance door on the second floor as well. Next up is the garden. There is a pool there. I usually swim in the morning when I don't feel like working out. And this is the gym. If you can't find me anywhere else in the house, I'll probably be here. This is exclusive yard ring. No one will enter this wing. The one in the left is my brother, Leo's wing. He was supposed to shift here last week, but a change of plans. He'll be joining us next week. You've already seen the kitchen and the living room and our bedroom, of course, that's it. You want to take a walk in the garden? Sure, take my hand. You are staring again. Just say that you miss me. It's not that hard. What? You've never seen the side of me. Honestly, before I met you, I didn't even know this side of me existed. You're Changing me. You're making me feel. No. That's not good. That's not at all good. I'm a mafia. I cannot feel. I'm not supposed to. The only thing I'm supposed to feel is anger towards my enemies and a sense of loyalty. To my men and my father. 
Yeah, I remember. I said I love you before you left for New York. I was so scared of losing you. I was so sure that either of us was going to get killed. I... I knew if I didn't see it that day, I might never have a chance to say it to you. Yes, you did, and you don't have to. I know it's impossible to fall in love with someone like me in just a few days. It's totally fine if you don't want to say it back. I am supposed to protect you. That sense of protecting is for you. I never realized when it turned into love. Hell, oh, until a few days ago, I didn't even know what love is. What are you doing to me? You're driving me crazy. You're making me feel things that I haven't even learned to feel. No, feelings do make me weak. All of this time, while fighting these Russians and plotting every attack, all I could think about was you. If you are safe, if you are fine, if something had happened to you, that's all I could think about. You want to be my strength, not my weakness. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to control my feelings. I am scared that I'll get so obsessed with you that I might scare you away one a day. You are sure we can figure it out. I don't know what. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop my ranting. Oh, Leo, he's a fine. He's a little shook about the incident in the old bar. But he'll get over it. He's, uh, he's dealing it in his own way. But it's a good that he was there when the attack took place. He needed an experience of what a real flight looks like. I know he might have gotten traumatized because of it. But if that's what gives him the motive, to join the gang, then I've got no problem with it. He's a big boy. He cannot deal with it himself now. No, that's not why he hasn't shifted yet to our home. He refused to shift here just yet because I told him that if he wants to leave here, he can't bring the girls home. I won't tolerate any nuisance around you. Yeah, he's a subtle king. He's getting as much as he can before he shifts here. He didn't do some tantrums about it. Made some decisions that pissed me off. So I brought him back on track. You don't have to worry about that. I'll handle him. What do you really have to worry about is how you're going to escape from me.
I have to take this. I'm so sorry. I'll be back in the flash. Rumo, I told you not to call me today. Can't you just handle everything on your own for one fucking day? What is it? It was a Bruno. My father. Someone shot him. He's dead. 